Put the mics on. Hi, everybody. We're back. We're back. Gabby and Nick are back with round two of the Florida Regional Not Championships, the premier challenge that's going on tonight. No, it's studio, studio mode. mode. Oh, right. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Still getting a little bit used to the... Yeah. Yes. Um, so it looks like T-Man is running Palkia, Cresselia, Groudon, Mawile, Amoongus, and Smeargle, whereas uh, Pablo is running Deer the Xerneas, <laughs> Kangaskhan, Groudon, Smeargle, Talonflame, and is that a Cherim? That is a Cherim. Okay. So what do you think of these teams so far, Nick? <laughs> um, well, Pablo is just running a variant of Big Six with a Cherim, which I guess we'll see what it does eventually if he decides to bring it. Um, Team man's team, it, it's won a lot of PCs in different areas. The the Palkia Groudon core is really strong. Um, so what exactly does Palkia Groudon do? Because like I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I want to say it's some form of trick room, especially since he has the Mawile, Cresselia, and Amoongus support yeah. thrown in there. The Palkia is definitely trick room. Uh, what a lot of people like to do is they run Lumberry on the Palkia, and then I guess Mental Herb on the Crest, if uh -huh. you're worried about different statuses. And they'll they'll take each one dependent on whatever their opponent brings. The Palkia, I don't think Palkia Earth Power doesn't KO Groudon, does it? It, it depends it on how bulky the Groudon is. Yeah, but Palkia it just walls Groudon and Kyogre. Yeah, so it's a really good trick room matchup for them. Yeah, I mean Shiny Swords team, it lo it appears to be very standard. So like it's possible that he could be running the timid max speed, you know, mm -hmm. all killer no filler Groudon that a lot of people have definitely started running going into this. Uh, regional season, but I've noticed that, at least based off my own observations, a lot of people are starting to swing more towards the bulky Groudon, mm -hmm. so it's possible that maybe Palkia won't pick up the KO right away, but I mean, there's not much Groudon could do to it in, in exchange, so... Yeah. Anyways, we have our leads. It is a Cresselia and a Moongus coming from T-Man versus the Groudon and the uh, Talonflame from Pablo. So a lot of options for this lead. Yeah, so it, it looks like Trick Room's almost definitely going to get up this turn. I uh, mean, Amoongus could follow me, or excuse follow me, me. <laughs> Amoongus could follow me. Amoongus could Rage Powder here and easily make it so Cresselia will stay alive for the end of the turn. Um, I missed, I did not notice if that Talonflame has Taunt. I don't believe it does. It had Quick Guard, so I don't think okay. it has Taunt. Okay, yeah, so it, it has ta uh, Quick Guard, but no Protect. All right, so we are going to see the Rage Powder from the Amoongus, not the follow me. <laughs> Um, Brave Bird will connect with that Amoongus. Um, I don't think Talonflame picks up an auto KO with that. I believe Amoongus is focus sashed? No, I don't, I don't think that is. Wait. Wow, okay. okay. So Amoongus survives the Brave Bird with what appears to be 1 HP without no focus a focus sash, which means that was either a really lucky damage roll or he... Or that Tommy's really good with his calcs. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually surprised Pablo didn't go for the Flare Blitz in the sun. I'm, because that would have definitely killed Amoongus. I'm surprised too. I mean, I think priority of Brave Bird is very important, but especially... But into Crest Amoongus, you don't really Yeah, think. you don't need it. Um, we are going to see uh, Tommy's Groudon, nicknamed Time to Party, come out to take <laughs> uh, the Amoongus' place. So I think it might be time to gravity... Uh, Precipice Blades party. I don't, I don't know about yeah. you. That's the, that's the read I'm getting from this, at least. <laughs> yeah, Pablo definitely needs to try to stall out these Trick Room turns, because as long as Crest Groudon are on the field, he's just going to be in danger of, like, every single Pokemon on his team getting Precipice Blades with that gravity. Yeah, and it looked like Pablo didn't really have anything to stop Trick Room, from Team yeah. Preview, at least. It, it definitely looked like the only way you could stop it was just by KOing whatever was trying to Trick Room, but that's really hard to do against a Crest. Yeah, and yeah, fortunately, he's just gonna try to go for damage here. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Um, uh, can someone tell can someone the tell people they that they disconnected the video? The video? <laughs> <laughs> we will be right back. Uh, for now, I'll though, back at it again. <laughs> enjoy this beautiful black screen. I believe Dark Void unfortunately hit us, <laughs> but we're okay. back as Talonflame goes for the Brave Bird into Groudon, gets With the, the crit. crit, gets about 50% damage on it. Um, and does not die to the recoil plus the life orb damage. And it looks like gravity wasn't set up during our brief Dark Void hiccup. Because Precipice Blades will not connect with Talonflame. It will easily pick up the KO on Groudon, though. So... Unfortunately, we have no idea what Cresselia did that turn. Maybe it was Helping Hand? I think it was Helping Hand. 
Just to assure that the the Precipice Blades KO'd. Yeah, that One makes sense. One thing that's dangerous about Groudon in Trick Room is that if you don't KO the opposing Primal while you're in Trick Room, it's very easy for them to just KO you back if they've got, like, Earth Power, or if it's Kyogre, if they have Water Spout or anything. Yeah. Yeah, and Helping Hand is honestly one of the best options, at least I think, on Cresselia mm -hmm. right now, because it really doesn't have any damage output. So if you can multiply the spread move damage of your partner's uh, attack so that it's basically like you have two Pokemon yeah. attacking... You can definitely do more damage that way. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like is going to come in for the Cresselia. It's going to get an Intimidate off on both the Kangaskhan and the Talonflame, which will definitely nerf their attacking potential this upcoming turn. Uh, Kangaskhan's going to Mega Evolve, and I believe I saw him pick Fake Out, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, okay, so he's just going to protect the Groudon. Yeah, it, it might not even matter, because Groudon's going for Protect here. Um, Fake Out will connect with the now a Mawile, so at least he gets some chip damage done, but I don't know if it's enough really to swing the momentum in his favor here. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, that was a really smart switch by Tommy, because even if uh, Pablo can like knock out the Mawile and the Groudon here, he can try to... Oh, I guess he can't set up Trick Room later, since he only has Crest, but... I don't know, there's not much Pablo can do it as long as Trick Room's up. Yeah, I mean, even though Tommy's maneuvered himself into a position where if he were to lose both Mawile and Groudon, I think it would be an auto-loss for him, the momentum's really still in his favor. I think he has maybe two or three turns of Trick Room left. I mm -hmm. lost count. I want to say three, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I wanted to say three too, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Uh, Mawile going for the Mega Evolution. Probably going to see an Iron Head or a Play Rough this turn. We actually see a Sucker Punch that's going to pick up the KO on Talonflame. He didn't want the Talonflame doing any more damage. Yeah, he didn't want the Talonflame to Brave Bird. Probably the Groudon. Um, who goes for a Sword, Sword Stance. Stance. Okay, so Pablo probably doubled into the Groudon slot trying to get rid of it. Definitely. Um, Sword Stance, oh. <laughs> so now, unfortunately for Pablo, it's going to be a... Xerneas, Kangaskhan versus a Mawile, Groudon, Cresselia, with Trick Room still up. Yeah, this so, is definitely a scary position to be in. Yeah, and his, his Kangaskhan doesn't have Protect, which means he can really only stall things out with Xerneas. And if he were to lose Kangaskhan this turn, like there's nothing Xerneas can really do against a Mawile and mm -hmm. a Groudon. Maybe if it was just like one of those things, but he doesn't have Geomancy up yet, which means he has no hope of taking the Mawile out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, he's just going to protect the Xerneas. Try to get something done with the Kangaskhan this time. Yeah. Although it is intimidated. It's intimidated, and Sucker Punch doesn't usually do a lot to Groudon anyways. It's which so physically <laughs> defensive. I know. It, like, literally did nothing, unfortunately. Um, Fire Punch will connect to that Kangaskhan. I think it's pretty much, yeah. When you're plus two in the sun... With a physical Groudon, it's... Not much you can do. There's really not much you can do. Um, and I I'm, mean, we've seen Xerneas has come back from 1-3 from before, so... It's certainly possible. <laughs> I, I think it would start with him getting the double protect here, but it doesn't look like he's going for it. Yeah. Probably doesn't... Oh, our trick room ran out, you know. Mm -hmm. That could have happened while we weren't paying attention. Uh, oh! Just misses the KO. Just misses the KO on Moonblast. Fire Punch will do enough damage easily to take after out that, that Xerneas stance. after the sword stance. So that's a good game, I believe, for uh, Tommy and for Pablo. Yeah, that was just a really decisive victory from Tommy. He... He played to his win conditions really well, and he made sure he, he kept everything... It, it was like he was playing two turns ahead the entire game. Yeah, and as we discussed earlier, like, Pablo really didn't have anything to stop Trick Room. So no, once Tommy really. got it up, he just had to keep doing damage until until it was a good game. Mm -hmm. So... I think maybe the Cherim could have done something. I, I'm not sure what the moveset is on it, but... I... If it I, had, like, Sleep Powder or something obscure... Maybe. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with what Cherim does. I'm not either, <laughs> so... All right, well, that was round two. We'll be back in a bit for round three. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want more Pokemon information from the Florida Regional Championship this weekend, check out those links below, yep. and we'll be back in a bit.